Um, just been doing a little bit of work on the Wilga Beast and uh, couldn't be happier. These are the wing tips for the Wilga Beast. Let me back up a little bit so you can see them. Woo, the wing tips for the Wilga Beast. Um, the stock Wilga had a huge little divot in here. Um, maybe I can show it to you. Just one sec, let me grab the uh, component that we took out. Okay, as you can see, uh, the old wing tip had a kind of a, uh, a flat spot, but it was not only just a flat spot, it was actually indented. So, you know, in my opinion, it kind of let the light uh, or prevented the light from being transmitted both fore and aft. Uh, we're going to put some LED lights on this uh, and kind of make this, uh, uh, you know, an LED, you know, a little bit better... Uh, lighting system than these old school lights but I really didn't like that divot in there so I took it out and uh, you know I just kinda did a patch I, I replaced it I could not be happier the uh, fiberglass just finished uh, curing up and uh, you know with a little bit of sanding a little bit of filling um, got a little air hole here but a little bit of work left on it um, we'll be painting these tomorrow very exciting. I uh, another little air hole right there, but uh, you know, for me not being a fiberglass person, the uh, the patch job couldn't have done couldn't have gone uh, better. So I'm very excited to uh, get the Wilga Beast back up and running. Looks like uh, this next weekend, maybe. Even though it's uh, look at that. Whoo! The previous owner. Um, one of the previous owners had a ground loop, believe it or not, in a Wilga. Um, you know, was, uh, ground loops are believable, but being able to hit the wing on the ground is uh, crazy. Um, or hit the wing on something. Anyway, I'm very excited to uh, get, uh, get everything going. The uh, Wilga Beast wing tips. over there. Let's see, what's the best view? I have no idea. I can't see. But uh, yeah, the Timpanogos mountain range right here. Got uh, Heber up that canyon over there. Absolutely inverted temperatures. This is Jason. Say hi. Howdy, howdy, howdy. We're just uh, loving life, living easy and Down. Oh goodness. So pretty. 
See the little wispies? It is just so calm. Beautiful day. We have a lovely surprise for everyone today, and here it is. As we bring you in, we have this wonderful new cowling. Whoa. White. Oh. Very nice. I'm not even gonna bother getting in the way of it, because it's so awesome. I can't cross in front of it. That Look looks how beautiful really that looks. good. That looks really good. Here we go, and it's happening. It's happening. Look at that. Nice, looks good. New lettering. The amazing. green is gone. The green, it's gone. It's amazing. This lovely. Oh, Still what's... working on the tail. Uh oh. Oh. Work in progress. Oh. Oh. But. Dang. We do have some orange right here. Oh, okay. Looks good. Oh, you got some stuff masked off. So this is a, you know, gonna get done today, I guess, huh? Gonna a little get sanding work right here. More orange down here. Like this video because it's awesome. I just happen to be wearing orange today. It is a coincidence. Look at that. Amazing, everyone, amazing. Uh, the whale goes back in airworthiness uh, condition, and uh, so I'm going to do a real quick uh, maintenance flight here. Should be pretty fun. Just a quick turn around the patch. You can see, uh, well, you probably can't see. <laughs> Elevator uh, hinge is replaced, and so uh, we're going to go flying.
Look at the grease. That's awesome. Anyway, we're out here uh, doing the final engine mount uh, bolt remover. Remover. Removal. Let me say that one more time. Removal. We do this in one cut, people. We don't edit. We don't, uh, we don't dilly-dally. But anyway, we've got uh, Richard Meyer. He's the uh, head honcho of our Utah wing of the Commemorative Air Force. And Paris Baird over there, elbow deep in Wilga guts. And uh, let's go uh, check out what they're doing. So Paris, uh, how's it going over here? Excellent. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's got the uh, grease to, to prove it. Got Richard over here. He's is this thing a bugger? He's working on something. Yeah, let's kiss it. So we've got the uh, engine all uh, hoisted up here and rigged. Properly, by the way. Yeah, it don't feel so bad now. We've got uh, engine mounts we're removing. This is the uh, Polish AI-14RA engine. 260 horsepower, turbo, tur supercharged, not tur turbocharged, supercharged even. And uh, it's going away. It's definitely going away. It's out of here. Uh, the sound of uh, jet aircraft you hear overhead, you probably won't be able to see them on the video. But uh, those are Hill Air Force Base F-16s. Uh, today would be uh, Thursday, so that's why they're out there having a good time. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you later. We're going to definitely, in about a, another, I don't know, five minutes or so, hoist that engine off of there. And it uh, should be pretty cool.
So, well, there you have it. Fun stuff. <laughs>